what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It's been a long time I haven't seen you guys. Hope everybody doing good, hope everybody doing good. Just want to check in today so I could try and give you all some updates on news and what's going on in the world. So, hi everybody, happy festive season, happy holidays. Hope everybody been being okay, hope everybody been good, hope everybody been healthy most of all. Because that's what's the season right now, staying healthy, right? So, I'm going to make sure we're going to start it off with some good vibes, you know? I'm trying to make sure we have everything working. All right. Awesome, 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 awesome. Awesome. Yeah, so hope everybody has been good. Hope everybody has been safe. Hope everybody being healthy. Hope everybody being um hope everybody being staying in good spirits, most of all. Because a lot of, a lot is going on in the world and it seems to be taking a toll on everybody. A lot of people confused and feel not sure what's going on. Um I know I was popping in on the podcast to keep people in tune and to let them know what's going on in the world. Um, as, as I get it coming across my desk, but it started getting so overwhelming and so much conflicting information that, um, we kind of just eased up and focused on a different part of the business. Island Vacation is doing fine. Um, we did survive the pandemic. Um, we I did come out better than we were before. The podcast is going to be better. Um, it's going to be more consistent. We're going to have more continent, more content. Sorry about that. <laughs> We also are going to be focusing a lot on um, the island of St. Lucia and the Southern Caribbean, which is where I am from, and I am very proud of that as well, right? Very, very proud of that. So um, today I'm going to go ahead and just give you all updates on news, on what's going on, and what's been going on lately, because a lot of different stuff has been um, popping up on the on the news channels or even when I go to my meetings with the different cruise ship companies, the airline companies, the hotel companies, a lot a lot seems to be going on. Um, of course now we have a new variant that just came up came about Omicron. So now uh, it's a whole new set of rules and regulations that have been revised. So I'm just gonna go into to just a little bit of detail. Today is the 29th of December 2021. Can you believe this? That's just crazy. The year, this might have been the fastest year, I think, in my opinion. Um, we are already at the end of this year. Hopefully, you were productive. Hopefully, you did something good. Of course, you could not travel as much. I did. I did travel um, a few times for the year. Um, I still do not. I still encourage people to keep your hopes up that you want to travel. You don't want to be... Human beings were not meant to stay in one place. That I will tell you. Um, that's why we have 10 toes, 2 feet. Trees don't have it. I'll keep it at that. So, to those who made it to the ending of 2021, congratulations to you. And for all the fallen people, all the fallen souls, um, we put prayers in the air, a moment of silence for them. Yeah, prayers to all the different families, people who have lost their families during this um, very trying time. I empathize and sympathize with you. Okay, um, so to begin the news on just a few updates that have been going on um, with just news that's coming across my desk. Um, cruise ships deny entry into certain port Amakan COVID outbreak crews. Okay. Now, this seems like the story just keeps on going and going. That cruise ships, during the last week, there were quite a few ships that actually had the variant um, on them. And that caused quite a bit of problems for them. Um, one of the cruise ships being Royal Caribbean, right? Um, also Carnival. Also, Holland America, um, MSC, 
And that's just to name a few of the cruise lines that actually had um, the, that actually had the variant on there. So the virus is still spreading despite people are, um, are actually vaccinated. Yes, on the cruise ship, you should be vaccinated before you could actually board the cruise. However, they're still getting people sick. So that's something that the CDC has put in place to actually investigate on how those pockets of people on the cruise ship still being sick, even if they're testing before they go on the ship. Sometimes while they're on the port, um, they've already been vaccinated, but yet still they're still getting sick. So how is that happening? So that's one of the things that's actually going on. Um, one of the, the numbers that came out from the cruise ships is that at least 48 people tested positive on Royal Caribbean's Symphony of the Sea, um, which docked in Miami on Saturday. Uh, more than 6,000 passengers and crew members were on the December 11th cruise. Um, Royal Caribbean said, adding that those who tested positive were immediately isolated to prevent the spread of the infection. Okay, so as, as they found out what was going on, they kind of locked it off and then actually catered for those people that actually came back as being sick, right? Now, there were more unconfirmed unconfirmed reports that Royal Caribbean and Love of the Seas had been denied entry into um, St. Thomas due to the same COVID variant. Um, there was also another unconfirmed report of 1.4% of the guests and crew possibly as high as 84 people had tested mm -hmm. positive on the Oasis of the Seas. So there's quite a bit of Royal Caribbean ships actually that's actually people are testing positive on the ship even though everyone is tested everyone is vaccinated they're still getting people um, that are actually positive and the numbers are quite high I must say um, from the reports of what the CDC has stated is that the Omicron variant is actually it spreads even quicker than the Delta variant um, but it doesn't get you as sick so that's something to pay attention to. So it seems like it's spreading quite a bit, but the effects of it um, doesn't seem to be as severe as the Delta variant or other variants. Um, elsewhere, Holland America's constant dam sailing out of San Diego uh, was forced to return home without making its schedule stop in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, after authorities would not allow guests to disembark due to positive COVID tests among the crew. Um, according to the Mexican authorities, 21 crew members aboard Covington, sorry about that, Covington, um, tested positive for COVID as the ship arrived in the port of Puerto Vallarta in, that's on December 23rd. Now, from my knowledge, and I have friends, I'm, I'm, I used to work on a cruise ship, so I have friends that still work on the cruise ship. I have people that I met while I'm traveling on the cruise ship. Um, I have friends. Of course, I have my business development managers from the different companies. They are also on the ship. So they've already made sure that we are aware that the staff on the ship are actually vaccinated and they're actually all tested, tested negative before they bought the ship. Because they have quite a tedious and rigorous um, schedule to actually get to be able to even get on the ship. I remember from my days, even just getting on the ship, yeah, that was a whole process. So I can only imagine how tedious it, it, it is right now with even more isolations. I think there were like three sets of isolations. So that's very weird that um, the crew members are getting sick as well. So it's not only just guests, it's crew members too, right? Um, a Holland American spokesperson confirmed that a small number of 875 crew who were all fully vaccinated have tested positive and were showing mild symptoms. Um, the staff was in location and close contacts were quarantined. So, as I just said, like, it's staff members, they're all vaccinated, but they're still coming back um, positive. So, that's very, very weird.
that's very weird, very odd. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. I think we just encountered some technical difficulties with the sound. Okay, we gotta try to figure this out. But um, that's just some news from what's actually going on. Yeah, that's actually some news from what's going on with... Sorry about that, guys. If you wouldn't hear me, sorry about that. I really, really apologize. Um, that's for the people on Facebook and YouTube. Sorry, I just got a message coming in. Um, we're just going over news from the cruise lines. Um, cruise ship denied entry into certain ports or as American variant COVID outbreaks grow. So that's a big problem right now. Um, reports have shown from Royal Caribbean to Holland America to Cannibal Cruise Lines and MNC ships. So at least five sailings on Royal Caribbean International, Holland America Cruise Line, um, Cannibal Cruise Line and MSC Cruises ships MSC cruise, cruises this past week were all altered by coronavirus outbreaks. Um, while ships resume cruising, have beefed up coronavirus precautions, required vaccinations and testing passengers. The wave of the new infections fueled by the Omicron variant is now hitting the industry. So, as I told you, quite a few people from Royal Caribbean have gotten sick, both staff and guests. Um, also, on Holland America, some people are, are also sick. Um, also, with Carnival Cruise Line, and meanwhile, Carnival Freedom was reportedly denied entry to Bonaire and Aruba. Um, a small number of people infected on board the Freedom ship have been isolated from other passengers and crew. Um, Carnival, Carnival said the ship, which returned to Miami on Sunday from another sailing, had 2,497 passengers and 1,112 crew members on board. Um, no word on how many had tested positive or how many had tested negative. Um, on MSC Cruises, MSC Seashore reported 28 cases among 4,714 guests. So it seemed like the number of people that are reporting to be um, positive for the Omicron variant um, of COVID on the ships seem to be small compared to the number of guests on there. But the thing with the ship, from my experience of working on the ship, when it comes to sickness, whether it's GI, that's where you start throwing up, um, a few people start getting sick, it's locked down. So that's one of the things about the ship. They do not take chances when it comes to sickness because they know it's it's easy for a virus to be able to chirp, to spread. The very same way I see the same thing for planes, but planes are still operating while cruise ships aren't. But it's easier to isolate on a ship than a plane. So that's a lot of information that we still have to research on. But yes, yeah, some ships are still coming back as uh, people are still being coming back as being positive when it comes to testing while they're while they've already tested positive and they've already had the vaccination. So that's pretty, that's something that the CDC has to look into and they are investigating right now. Now, cruisers out of Florida face new travel insurance requirements. So that is something that has picked up when it comes to the booking of trips that I advise you, if you're booking a trip, it doesn't matter how healthy you feel, how good you feel, to get insurance on your travel. And that way, you can get maybe your money back. Now, from what I've seen, most of the most of the most of the cruise lines that are actually most of the cruise line, most of the trips or most of the companies, most of the Fortune 500 companies that book travel, what they've done is they've gotten a much better insurance package for clients which i think is amazing um 
it gives people an opportunity to be able to get their money back if they're not able to make it. Also, you're able to cancel or postpone at a shorter time span, so maybe within 24 hours. So my advice is to get insurance on your trips. So as I said, cruises out of Florida face new restrictions and travel insurance requirements, right? So um, cruises has now restart from Florida, but confusion resigns. Confusion reigns supreme as cruise lines find themselves caught between rules from the U.S. Center of Disease Control, the CDC, which mandates that guests and crew be vaccinated, and Florida law that prevents companies from asking for proof of vaccination. So it's some kind of conflict going on between the CDC and Florida as a state, because um, everywhere is operating differently. I live in the center of Florida. Yeah, we're different out there. Our rules are a little bit different. Um, everybody has rights down in Florida, as far as they're concerned. So the, what's happening now is that the center of disease control is conflicting with the cruise line companies um, as to, they're saying that it needs to be mandated that you have to have your, you have to have vaccinated, you have to be vaccinated both the staff and the guests, but the state itself is stating that no, no company should have the roof, the right to ask for proof of vaccination. So that's what's going on in Florida. And because of that, there's a big back and forth in the courts, right? Um, so like, for example, yesterday, well, we did for yesterday, Royal Caribbean announced it would require unvaccinated guests over 12 years of age traveling from Florida to show proof of insurance that covers COVID-related medical expenses, quarantine, and evacuation, right? Now, the cruise line's move came um, after two unvaccinated travelers recently tested positive from COVID-19 on a cruise. Just a few days later, Royal Caribbean said it would require unvaccinated guests over the age of 12 to prove to provide proof of travel insurance for all Florida insurance, all Florida cruise departures between August 1st, 2021 and December 31st, 2021. Right? Now that has led some insurance companies to quickly set to quickly search products to cover travelers. Um, travel insurance at the start battle phase for battle insurance says its U.S. product covers COVID-19 as they would any other sickness. So one of the companies that's actually catering for travel insurance and COVID is covered underneath what they do is battle phase. Travel insurance at start battle phase. Yes, that's the name of that insurance. Battle phase. So that's a good insurance, I guess, um, to get COVID. It will be covering your COVID sickness if you ever get sick with COVID. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's something. Um, just to give you a little bit of information on that. The company provides coverage in its travel medical insurance product, including travel medical expenses, um, $500,000 per insured. Emergency evacuation and, and repatriation of remains benefits up to five hundred thousand dollars as well, right? So it has a pretty it covers quite a bit and it also covers repatriation and also medical expenses, which means repatriation that if you're traveling and you got stuck somewhere, they're gonna get you back. So that's actually a good thing to be able to um, a good insurance company to be able to check in. So that's what's going on with. The insurance in Florida, right? Um, to further to further the, 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 the news on what's going on, um, inside the airlines, what's happening this week? American, Delta, Avelo, Qatar, and AHA. They all begin daily flights. Um, American begins daily flights to Dominican, to Dominica. 
Delta expands um, its range of how many cities. Everything is kind of coming back, or they're trying to come back as much as possible, despite all the problems that we're having. So the airline companies, um, American Airlines, recently launched its service to Dominica from Miami International Airport, expanding to daily service, effective April 5th, 2022. Um, this service is scheduled to launch with two flights weekly and increase to three times a week in January before the topping of the seven times weekly by April. So American Airlines plans on having flights that's actually going to Dominica. Dominica is one of the most natural islands in the Caribbean. Um, the Caribs, they still have a, a, a Caribs, which actually live there, right? Um, on another note, Delta expanded flights to Panama with new service from Tuckerman International Airport um, to Delta's Los Angeles LAX hub, a new service to Orlando, and a second Saturday flight from the airline's Atlanta hub. Okay, so Delta is expanding to Panama. American Airlines is extending flights to Dominica, right? Um, Avalo Airlines will be able to offer TSA pre-check expedited screening for its customers. Um, TSA pre-check is, is an expedited um, screening program that enables low-risk travelers to enjoy the efficiency screening um, experience. So like to just expedite you like certain airports, like recently I just came from um, New Jersey, and yeah, you probably want expedited, expedited TSC in an airport like that because yes, yeah, it's, it's just a little too hectic. Um, on another note, Qatar Airlines became the first carrier to make a transaction of on the IATA Aviation Carbon Exchange using IATA Clearing House. All right, um, IATA, and that's Qatar Airways. They're moving up a little bit in the world. Um, that's why they're trying to expand their business because, of course, Dubai is becoming to is becoming a really hot destination, like a really really hot destination, um, where people travel quite a bit, people visit there quite a bit. So that's something else. Um, and I know you're probably not familiar with that airlines. Aha, that's A H A. Powered by Express Jet Airlines, has partnered with Guest Logic to bring personalized recommendations and this digital cost share service to its passengers. Right? So, Guest Logic's digital cost share platform um, anticipates travelers to need in real time, guiding them as they personalize every aspect of their trip via customized profiles of adventures so that's just a new platform to be able to help um, make your experience of traveling even better with aha airlines right so this has just been just a few different um news uh, things that's been going on in the news as i said um, cruise ships denied entry into certain ports omicron covid outbreak grows um, the cruises out of cruises out of Florida face new travel insurance requirements. What's happening with the airlines? American Airlines, Delta, Avelo, Qatar Airways, and Aha Airways. And right now, that's just a few things that's actually going on in travel. Now, before we always used to bring you current in travel, right? And Current in Travel is actually brought to you by Island Vacation Travel Agency, um, IVTA store, Island Vacation store. Um, currently in travel, American is affecting booking, but Carnival Cooperative, Corporation maintains positive outlooks. Okay? Um, Carnival Freedom affected by COVID-19. Royal Caribbean halts new bookings for early January departures, 
okay and this has been current in travel of island vacation and IVTA where online store okay now not just to continue a few more stories um, we also have the US set a lip ban a lift travel ban on South African countries on December 31st so they're gonna go ahead and lift the ban on South Africa I know they've been spreading a lot of news stating that um, the Omicron variant came from South Africa but clearly they're lifting the ban on December 31st um, US set to lift travel ban on Southern African countries on December 31st so that's breaking news right there um, the Biden administration reportedly will lift the travel ban for eight southern African countries that were among the first to report the high contagious American variant a White House spokesperson on December 24th confirmed the restrictions will is December 31st the restrictions came under increased security scrutiny in recent weeks as Omicron was identified in the US and became the dominant variant in the last week so that's good news for South Africa um, they're gonna go ahead and lift up the ban for the South African countries so it's not just South Africa it's a few other countries around South Africa too and that will be the southern countries in Africa um, and these these countries would be the countries of Botswana, Nambia, Zimbabwe, Lesotho, Eswatini, Malawi, Mozambique, and that's just to name a few. Alright? And of course, not forgetting South Africa itself. So it looks like that's some good news for um, the South African countries that want the South African people that want to travel and other people from the South African states that want to travel so good news for you South Africa and Africa that the ban is going to be lifted um, next news flight disruptions continue over the holiday weekend supposedly due to COVID um, airline flights continue to be cancelled over the holidays in the thousands both domestically and abroad so Despite the holidays is going on, they're still having loads of flights being cancelled. So if you're traveling, beware. Try to get on the airport at least three hours in advance. That's my word to you. Um, try and check in in advance. Pay attention. Get your alerts. Book with a travel agent. Hopefully it's Island Vacation Travel Agency so that we can keep you up to date as to um, what's going on. Because we keep track of our clients when they're flying. Um, so... As I told you, flight disruptions continue over the holiday weekend, supposedly due to COVID, right? So it's not stopping. Um, airline flights continue to be canceled over the holidays in the thousands, both domestically and abroad. And reportedly, due to an increase in COVID positive cases for flight crews. Um, according to many of the major carriers, some airlines have blamed bad weather while at least one airline observed believes to have been to do with unhappiness among its airline its airline employees so employees are still being very upset people not happy about how they've been treated at the job and so the airline the airlines are having a very hard time with keeping their staff because from being an air hostess now you're not just an air hostess you end up being security because people are fighting they have to get rid of alcohol so guys if you're traveling make your job a little bit easier for the air hostess they're not the one who started the covid they didn't start covid they didn't they're not the ones that asked to put masks or anything of that sort they're just doing their job right so this is just a few reasons why some of those flights are being cancelled whether it's the weather or unhappy staff or it's actually COVID and people are actually getting sick and people are calling sick outs, right? Because if a few people actually call off sick, then it actually affects the whole business. So that's some of the reasons why they're having disruptions in the holiday right now. Now, 
One of the very interesting stories I found that came across my desk. Very, very interesting story. And I felt it was necessary to just share it with you all. Um, I used to work for Norwegian Cruise Line. That's one of the big top cruise lines out there. Um, this came to my desk. Norwegian Cruise Line Chief Sales Officer resigns over COVID-19 vaccination. Okay, um, this lady has been with um, Norwegian for over 10 years and she has decided to actually resign. She decided to resign due to... Okay, let me read it verbatim for you. She wrote that she was making a personal health decision to delay getting vaccinated that would go against her line stated policy on having COVID-19 vaccination for guests and crew. And now we assume employees as well. That is her words. I don't think anyone can deny how incredibly challenging the last year has been for us. Um, she wrote, so much uncertainty and change, so much to consider. And now, so much to look forward to. So, she's going to be undertaking some new endeavors. Um, that is the chief officer of Norwegian Cruise Line. She's going to be resigning um, due to policies of COVID vaccination. So, we're not going to be having this chief of, of um, sales with Norwegian anymore. And finally, for our final story, the United, the EU recommends halting non-essential travel from U.S. over rising COVID-19 infections. Okay, this is coming from Europe. So, Europe also has restrictions that's also taking place. And this information just also came across my desk. The EU recommends halting non-essential travel from the U.S. from the U.S. over rising COVID-19 infections, as we expected given reports over the over the weekend. The, U the European Union has now recommended halting non-essential travel from the United States because of the rise of COVID-19 cases and the spread of the Delta variant of COVID. Europe now considers the U.S. to be a red country with risk infections. Wow. So now the U.S. is being regarded as a red country um, and the United uh, and European Union is actually going to be putting a ban on travel, on non-essential travel um, to the United States. Yeah. The, U the EU recommendation generated some initial confusion on social media and in press reports um, with some people writing that Americans had been banned from visiting Europe outright. That is not correct, guys. That's incorrect information. Um, the recommendations actually does not mean Americans won't be able to visit Europe, but their vaccination status may soon affect their ability to travel there more than it did before. That's all it really means. Okay? So, quite a bit has been happening in the news. Quite a bit is going on. Quite a bit is going on. I mean, as I told you all, it is my job as the owner of Island Vacation Travel Agency to share information with you all as I get it. Um, I myself personally have been traveling throughout the whole pandemic. Um, we've been safe. We've been taking care of ourselves. You need to read the fine print on everything. Whether it's the cruise lines, the airlines, the hotels, events. Read the fine print. This is part of the business of what I do. I'm into events. I'm into tourism. I'm into travel. That's what I do. Um, what I would advise you to do is to do your research. I will continue bringing the podcast in in the new year a little bit more often 
so that I could keep you up to date on what's going on. Within the past few months, it was just too hectic, too much was going on, and too much back and forth, and too much conflicting information was going on. Hence the reason why I kind of eased up on it. But moving forward, I am going to be giving, giving you all information as it comes across my desk, because I am in meetings with those companies almost every day, two to three times a day, whether it's the airlines or the CDC or the representative for comfort for countries, I keep on having meetings with them. A lot is going on in the world. Um, I want people to stay informed. Education is the key. Being knowledgeable is the key. That's what the key is. So just to recap on what the main stories were, um, cruise ships denied entry into certain ports. Omicron COVID outbreak grows. Um, Cruisers out of Florida face new travel insurance requirements. What's happening this week with the airlines? That's American Airlines, Delta, Avelo, Qatar, and AHA Airlines. Um, current in travel, Omicron is affecting bookings, but Carnival Cooperation maintains positive outlook. So Carnival is still booking cruises. Um, Carnival Freedom Affected by COVID-19. Royal Caribbean halts new bookings for early January departures. So um, Royal Caribbean is kind of easing up on booking trips for the new for new departures for January because of the Omicron variant and the few there were, there were quite a bit of um, people that actually came back positive off the ships. Not a, in regards to the amount of people on the ship, it's a little bit, but to avoid the outbreak from spreading and even being more rampant, the ship always shuts down everything as soon as it finds that out. Right? Um, another thing in the news, the U.S. sets to lift travel ban on South African countries on December 31st. So on December 31st, the South African countries and the nearby countries will be able to travel to the United States, okay? Um, flight disruptions continue over the holiday weekend, supposedly due to COVID. So due to COVID, there was a, well, quite a bit of disruptions with flights. Also, employees of the airlines are not pleased. They're getting beat up. They're getting disrespected. So they're also having strikes as well. Um, another thing, the Nor Norwegian Cruise Line Chief Sales Officer resigns over COVID vaccination. Okay. And finally, the European Union recommends halting non-essential travel from the United States over rising COVID-19 infections. Okay. So, this has been podcast number 20 with Island Vacation Travel Agency, guys. As I said, I want to wish everybody a happy, happy, happy New Year. Hope you all had a good festive season. I know the year was rough into 2020 and 2021, but we survived. The blessing is being above six. As long as you're above six and you wake up every day, every day is a new life to a human being. So make use of it. Whatever you were not able to change yesterday, change it today. All right? So that's just some words I want to give you all. For what's going on, don't don't be in fear. Fear is not your friend. We are people of love. We're made out of love. So do not be in fear. Um, the world as we know it has changed. I will tell you all that. If you are waiting for a new normal, it's not going to be normal ever again. We have to adapt and how to live. We are built resilient. We actually designed for this planet, right? We are human beings. We're designed for this planet. So, please, guys, as I'll say, do not stay in fear. Whenever you have to travel, you've got to travel. You have to move or else we would not have two feet and ten toes. Okay? Trees stay in one place. So, my advice to you, stay prayed up, stay blessed up, stay energetic, exercise, eat well, stay positive, stay happy. And I will be bringing more podcasts to you guys. And... Happy New Year, moving forward in 2022, more prosperity and more life to y'all, alright?